So we're at Dearborn, Michigan. Ethnic neighborhood. It's all over the place in the world. Oh, that's so beautiful. This time, we came to Dearborn, Michigan. What is it? You can find so many Arabic wow. stores in this neighborhood. And we got together with my friend Frankie in this supermarket. So we're going to check out some of my favorite Middle Eastern food spots. Perfect. Let's go, so he's going to take me around. Yeah. Great. Right. Let's see what he recommends. Here to there. Oh, it's not a yogurt. It's all labne. Uh, labne. labne. Somewhere in between almost like uh, yogurt and cheese. It's a very um, like thick, strained yogurt. So really creamy, a little bit acidic, um, almost like a little tartness to it. Um, it's really good. It is amazing that Arab people eat so many different dairy products. Sometimes you'll see versions of it up here which are kind of spiced. Some have mint, some are a little uh, like hot sort of spice. Now we headed to Delhi. So the Delhi section, they carry Middle Eastern food like hummus, yogurt. And they have sushi. Sushi in Arab supermarket? He's a sushi chef and cutting a shawarma at the deli. <laughs> Bringing back to the sushi place and then he's gonna make a roll. It's called shawarma roll. Pickled and shawarma are wrapped in vinaigrette sushi rice. But it looks good. Looks good. Only in Dearborn, Michigan. Shawarma roll. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is about as multicultural as you could get right here. Shawarma and a sushi roll. Good though. Yeah. Believe it or not, shawalma and sushi works. It's funny, <laughs> this taste is so not Japanese at all, mm. but yeah. just a hint of vinegar. Yeah. That actually matches with the pickle too. I think that really makes it kind of like a hybrid. Next, Frankie's favorite spot. Uh, I think we should definitely do some kafta, some uh, beef kebabs. I think we should do the uh, the raw meat. A raw meat? In the Arab world, meat is an important meal. Many shops in Dearborn sell halal meat, and they care a lot about its quality. And this shop is famous for one of the freshest meat in town. And the back of the shop is a restaurant. They actually could be right here. <laughs> you order various skewers at the meat shop and they will cook on the charcoal. While I was waiting for the skewers, I tried the raw meat that Frankie recommended. Good. Super good quality. They have spices, right? Yeah, it's like a mixed spice. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really nice with the jalapeno on there, a little heat, a little crunch. And charcoal grilled meats are ready to eat. Kafta, beef kebab, sausage, and liver. The meat is all natural. The charcoal we use is 100% all natural wood charcoal. So even the tables you eat on, it's all recycled hardwood tables. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so like everything is healthy and natural. Wow, medium rare, medium rare, love it. Wow. It's two fifty. Amazing. Super deal. Amazing. Amazing price. <laughs> what kind? What kind of sausage is this? Like some kind of sausage. One bite. Nothing's gonna stop Hero's appetite. <laughs> ah, I love it. Right. Thank you no much. problem. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, that's great. Wow. They're super good friendly. Good and friendly. Oh, wow. Frankie, that was just good stuff. So good. All right. Yeah. Dear more meat market. I won't ah. steer you wrong. Ah. This is the dish called kippe naiya, a raw meat with mixed spices. In Arab cuisine, raw meat is quite popular. Mm, 
it doesn't taste like raw meat at all. But it is it is good. It's a lot of it is a lot of spice. Mm, you can find this, this meal in several restaurants in Dearborn. Yeah. It's hard to eat without bread. You gotta really it is. you gotta get bread for it. Yeah. So this is Heschel's. This and store is known for its coffee you. and spices. Many locals say it's the nice best. <coughs> This is a food tour organized by Arab American National Museum. You get a symphony of flavor, it's soft and smooth, but also a little bit acidic, kind of strong and bold. And the visitor says, oh yeah, love it. Not just locals, but chefs from around the world orders their hand-mixed spices. I heard it's like one of the best store in the town. Our specialty, yes. For the nuts, for the coffee, for, for spices, yeah, we are the best. Just look at the pistachios. They have so many that different so kinds. Good. Oh, I'm so, what is the difference between Turkish one and Iranian one? Turkish, yeah. Turkish one? And oh, Iranian good. one. Oh, it is different. I think the Turkish one comes the flavor like Ford, and then this one, Iranian, comes later on. It's more mild, but it's a like a more salt, salt, and salt, salt and sour. And then this, tea, right? tea. it's funny. Superman and Wonder Woman. <laughs> they also sell tea. They create their own blend. Arab region has the highest consumption of tea in the world. Amazing. You cannot go wrong with any tea here. Really? Mm -hmm. All of them. Everything. Ah. <laughs> oh, I love the, the uh, aroma and then also I like the, the name, Lavender Moonlight. And they got yeah. this um, blue one, one. Yeah, that's nice. so nice. This has, um, Chamomile, lavender, black tea, and Don't forget sweets. Wow. Of course, there's more sweets. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. It's like one big marshmallow. Is marshmallow? So good. It is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you for satisfying. Thank, Thank you very much. much. They have just great like variety of tea, coffee, of course, nuts and sweets, all kinds of stuff. And every customer said this is the best place. And yes, I trust that. This is the kitchenware store that sells imported goods from Middle Eastern countries. You can find various coffee makers and teacups. After the Hashem's Roastery and Market, it is a good place to stop by. There is a place that you don't want to miss in Dearborn. A shisha or hookah bar. Frankie picked this fancy lounge. Smells. Fancy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. In the Arab world, people well, smoke right? shisha as a part of their culture. It is a common social gathering place. <laughs> Alright, this is how Dearborn smokes. Yep. Here goes Frankie. <laughs> Worked. Hey. Wow. Oh. Looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> they serve Arabic style coffee here. Oh, it smells so good. It is a great place to hang out and relax at the end of the day. End of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out a few of my favorite Arabic spots. Yes.
Skibby, kebabs, Lebanese, Iraqi, Syrian. Uh, yeah, we definitely got the uh, Arabic cuisine food game on lock here in yeah. Metro Detroit. So. And Dearborn. Check it out. Yeah, Check it out. During my journey in these ethnic neighborhoods in the United States, I was surprised by their various cultures. I met many people and made new discoveries. You can experience the whole world without going to real countries. I love ethnic neighborhoods. Next on Ethnic Neighborhoods, Dam and Hiro continues to explore Little Africa in Guangzhou, China. Otanashimini!